here, the Frugal Crafter, and today I want to show you how to make a waterfall card. I haven't finished decorating this one yet, but I just wanted to give you the idea. Um, and I'm using a template from Green Sneakers, and it's their card. They have a card making template kit, which I got at a stamp show for like 25 bucks. And I had all these templates in it that normally cost 50, so I thought, what a, what a heck of a deal. Um, so basically what I've done is I've drawn, I've traced the outline of the... Um, of the waterfall card looks kind of like a T and I'm just simply going to cut it out. It's really, it's really neat, but I found that it was kind of tricky at first when I made it. And then I tried to do a step-by-step -step tutorial of the card and I don't know, something, it was taking a long time and I didn't feel like it was really, uh, really worth anybody's time to watch. So I thought I would do an abbreviated version and, um, show you how to, how to make the waterfall card using this template because it certainly does make things easier. Okay, and uh, if you're interested in how I stamped some of the little images, I actually used my watercolor crayons and uh, these fabulous stamps from About Art Accents. And oh, of course, my blocks on the other side of the room. And uh, I'm going to show you just this little this little tip here because it's a lot of fun. I think you'd really like it. Um, basically, all I do is I dip my um, watercolor crayon in some water and I go through and I just randomly throw some color on there. You know, you could take a little more time at home when you're not filming a video, <laughs> but I just wanted to um, to show you this. And I get asked a lot uh, about what brand watercolor crayons I use. The, the maker is Karen Dosh. Uh, it's C-A-R-A-N D apostrophe D, uh, I'm sorry, D apostrophe A C H E. These are the Neo Color 2 water soluble crayons. Um, now I can give this a mist, but sometimes I like to stamp it first and see what I get. And then, yeah, I didn't, it, some of it dried. So I'm going to give this a squirt of just plain water and stamp it again. I like to stamp it a few times just until I get exactly what I want. That was a big blobby mess. So see, it takes a few times, but it's kind of a fun way to, you know, just get another look from your rubber stamps. Um, so there, just wanted to show you that technique with the Karen Dosh watercolor crayons. Any watercolor crayon should work just fine. Uh, that's my pick if you uh, are wondering what brand to buy. All right, so the next thing we need to do for our card is um, we've already traced our template and there are little um, marks on our template. If you look here, you can kind of see there's these little triangle marks there and there are our scoring lines. So I'm using my score pal because I prefer to use my score pal when I'm scoring. You could use like a butter knife and a ruler if you didn't have a score pal or any other scoring board would be fine. And um, then you just score from point to point. I have to shift mine. I have the old score pal that has uh, that doesn't have as many scoring grooves in it, so I have to shift my thing to score. I'm not exactly sure how far apart they are. I'd say about a quarter of an inch. And then what you do is you fold in these two panels, the two uh, arms of the T. Give it a little glue. Glue it down there. All right, and then um, you want to you want to fold these, and you want to um, I like to fold them all one way on my score lines, and then I fold them the other way because you really want this um, portion of your card to be bendy. You want it to flex. So when you're pulling the pull tab and your card is moving, it just glides effortlessly. You don't want to be catching or um, getting hung up on the bumps. Um, on the score. So you can use a bone folder to flatten it out, but I find that gives me a really nice kind of groovy bend there. And then you want to um, get your little, oops, I forgot to score my pull tab here. And you get the little pull tab, and what you do is you feed it through the sleeve. And there are instructions with the template, but I don't know about you, I have a hard time with instructions. <laughs> I kind of need to see it done. Okay, now this is a tricky bit. Now you're going to flip it over. Okay, and one, two, three, four, five, you got these five um, channels that you're going to glue on. So let me cut some paper to glue on that and I'll show you how to finish putting this together. Okay, I'm back with my, um, my paper already cut and um, you can use any sort of thin adhesive to, um, to put the adhesive here. Maybe if I'm careful, I can use this. Let's see, oh, I got it in there pretty well. 
and you're going to, so we're working on the back. You can see that this is all flat here. And I'm going to put my first piece of paper down like that. I used hot glue for this too, whatever you're the most comfortable with. You just want to try to keep your adhesive in the channel. And I'm going to just kind of alternate. And just try to keep it lined up here, lined up with the edges here. I've wanted to do this type of card for quite a while, but I found it to be, it just looks so difficult. And then when I got this template, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to give it a try. That looks like it's going to be fun. So there are a bunch of cards, a bunch of card templates in the kit, sliders, pop-ups, different, uh, just lots of different stuff. It's a lot of fun. And um, I'm enjoying these templates a lot because a lot of times it just makes, it, it gives you a lot of bang for your buck. You know, you're just using cardstock, but it just looks uh, so much fancier when you've got these fancy folds and pop-ups and moving cards. All right, so this is what the back of it looks like. Now, when I pull it over, Oops, that's actually fine. I'm sorry. Um, so when I lift, my papers do that. So here on my example, um, all I did was I glued it to the back of my card and I just put glue on this part here. Don't glue up here because that needs to move. Glue this to your card base. So then when you pull, it will pull freely like it does here. And you can embellish it. You can add photographs. Um, this card isn't done, but I just wanted to give you an idea. And um, these stamps I used are by About Art, blah, 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 About Art Accents. If you uh, visit my blog, the link is below. I will be giving this set of stamps away because they've been so happy with the amount of uh, folks that have um, checked out their stamps since I've been showing videos using their products that uh, they wanted to give a humble thank you. So my, the link to my blog is below on my uh, the YouTube video description. The, I also put a link in for uh, greensneakers.com where you can find these awesome templates along with the create a lope templates. I, um, I made a little create a lope to go with this card. I thought it'd be kind of kind of cool. So there you have it. It's just a fun, uh, fun little something, something you can put on a scrapbook page or a card. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any other videos. And until next time, happy crafting.